we bought Litchfield glass <coughs> out of uh, liquidation. Well, everything was there. We bought that with. We bought what was left to the company, which was all the tools, all the ovens, all the lathes, and there was about one, two, three, about five staff. But one or two of them left, and then we didn't have enough work, so we ended up just keeping two of them. And then another one left. Um, we used to have one that used to come in when we were busy. So there was mainly just two of them. That was That's Derek mm -hmm. working on that, the one who's written that article. And Rob, who I'm still in touch with. Um, what we were doing, scientific glass, um, we had a turnover of about £100,000 on the cop rock on that. The football memorabilia. I've got something there to show you that we done for Princess Diana, which is another coach, but that's in a bottle. This is what we had to develop stuff like that because we weren't getting any money in from the ships in bottles. I can Derek used to say that there was nobody, nobody interested in taking over. You know, once Derek was gone, that was it. We tried to train several young people up and they just didn't have the interest. I always said that it was lucky if there was 10 people like that left in the country.